Hi, I'm Suzanne Matson. Welcome to this video on how to prevent project failure. Now that's a very big topic, probably too big for a little video, but it's important enough that I would like to give you some pointers. The first thing I would say is that you must begin with the end in mind, like Stephen Covey says, and that means that you must focus on the success criteria. What is it that will make the project successful in the eyes of your stakeholders and your end users and your clients? Make them measurable and tangible. You see, if you don't know what success looks like, then you will not be able to deliver it. Secondly, you must really focus in on the requirements of the project. Don't just let one business analyst sit and gather the requirements in a corner and write it down in a Word document. No, create requirements gathering workshops where you meet with the key stakeholders, with the clients and the end users and draw out the requirements. Don't just write them down in a document. Create flow diagrams, create mock-ups, create prototypes, anything you can do to illustrate to the client what it is that you hear they're saying will make it better for your project because it makes the requirements more tangible and more real. It's also important that you build strong relationships with your stakeholders and that you gain their buy-in. Lots of surveys show that without senior level buy-in, your project isn't going to go anywhere. So you have to sit down and interview your stakeholders. See what it is that they worry about. Understand what success looks like in their eyes. And why not ask them how they would like you to communicate with them throughout the duration of the project. The next thing I would mention is that you have to plan the project collaboratively. Those days are over when the project manager had to sit in isolation and plan the project. That does not create buy-in. You have to do this collaboratively. Bring your team together, whether in person or virtually. The virtual post-it note has been invented. So bring along this stack of sticky notes and create a high-level milestone plan in collaboration with your team. If you create a space for the team to step in, it is much more likely that they will take responsibility for the project. Once you've created a high-level milestone plan, you can fill in the details. Of course, we also have to mention the importance of risks. Have a collaborative risk workshop with your team members. Again, don't feel that you have to identify all the risks on your own. Sit with the team and brainstorm everything that could go wrong and make sure that you assign one owner for each risk. Of course, you also need mitigating actions. And you must continually review the risks. It is not enough to just do this when the project starts off and then file it away. Then it will not be effective at all. The last thing I would mention is that you really have to deliver your project gradually, if at all possible. Not every project is suited to a gradual delivery. But if you can, then create several milestones and make sure that you deliver something tangible at the end of each milestone. If you do that, you will greatly reduce the risk of failure. Thank you for watching.